Ladies and gentlemen, I wrote that the other day. Last night took about 15 minutes, and it started out with wrapped up in a dream. That was the theme. But then I said, wait a minute. There was that person who said, I have a dream that one day little white boys and white girls will join hands and they will sing that old spiritual parable. Free at last, free at last, free at... You remember that one? Well, that's the I've been to the top of the mountain part. The next part says, after he talks about being to the top of mountains, talks about holding hands. White boys and white girls holding hands and singing about freedom. Then the next part says, I went down to Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. I stood on a balcony and got shot to death. He doesn't say that part. Then he says, I gave a speech in Harlem, watching my friends turn into enemies. Malcolm X. Wrapped up in memories, woven in a dream. Now look. Whether you understand it or not, whether you believe it or not, every person who is of color who has ever stood up, they've always stood them down. They've always taken them out. They've always taken them down. Go back. Take a look. Now, look, I don't care about color. I can care less about color. Never cared about color a day in my life. I don't see color. Never have. I've talked about all of the stories about how I was a kid and how I refused to look at people as if they were different. I like difference. I like the fact that people are different. Man, can you imagine what this world would be like if everybody was identical, exactly the same? If all animals were exactly the same? Give him credit that he created so much variety. Give him credit. That's why we know evolution does not exist in the form and fashion for which they claim it exists. Look, hey, hold on. Darwin came to the same conclusion. They just don't tell you about that. No, 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 no. They only tell you about what Darwin did at the beginning of his so-called theorization. When he was theorizing. They don't tell you the conclusions he came to at the end of his life. Where he realized that there was a creator. They don't tell you about how Albert Einstein realized the very same thing. No, 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 no. Because they need to promote there is no God. Because as long as... Everybody believes there is no God, then they can do whatever they want. They can go out there and do whatever they want. They don't have to have morals. Look, Israel <clears throat> bombed a refugee camp. Now, have you ever heard of that happening in the history of mankind? Someone deliberately bombing a refugee camp? Now, they claim they're going after Hamas. Ladies and gentlemen, then that means they put troops on the ground to go after Hamas if they're mixed in with civilians. But no, indiscriminately bombing civilians. And what do they say? It's regrettable. Regrettable? You see, that's evolution. That's individuals portraying that they believe in evolution. See, lives don't matter whether they're black, blue, brown, or green. They don't matter. They say the Palestinians are dogs, animals, cockroaches. I didn't say that. They say that. Go back and listen to them report that on the news. All of the American news channels are trying to make it seem like it's not as bad as it seems. Ladies and gentlemen, I saw a video the other day of a Palestinian holding up a dead body of a child who was at least five years old. My mind did not grasp it. My mind did not say, hold on, wait a minute. Take a look at what you're looking at. That, that, you need to focus on what you're looking at. Do you see that that is a dead body of a child? 
that has no head? That's right. When they bombed Rafa, that, that refugee camp, there were kids there. And that particular baby, head was blown off. You see, that's what the people in the Middle East and third world countries and Africa and every place other than America and the Western Hemisphere, Britain, are seeing. They're seeing the images of kids being blown up, kids being killed. They're not seeing the images of Hamas being killed. They're seeing the images of kids being killed. Eventually, somebody's going to do something. I told y'all, y'all going to hear a report about a dirty bomb. I've been telling y'all that. Well, I've been telling people that since 2015 when I was made aware of it. Eventually, it will lead to that. Don't take my word for it. I'm not predicting a future. I'm just telling you what I know. Telling you what I know. Now, the song that I was just talking about, Wrapped Up in a Dream, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we are. I mean, literally. None of this seems real. We go about our daily lives, but none of us are living. Go ahead. Go ahead. How many of you are living? That's impossible because that's not the way to live. You do nothing all day long. You come home, you go to sleep, you wake up, and you do nothing all over again. Go ahead. We don't accomplish anything. Think about it. Every single day, we do not have a single thing we can call an accomplishment, an achievement. I got people whom the system is coming after them, making their lives miserable, and they're just trying to breathe. And they don't understand, hey, I've worked miracles with the help and aid of the God that I serve. But I cannot stop everything. Especially if you come to me in the middle of the fight. You see, you can't come to me after you done received a couple of blows and been knocked down three times already. Okay, and got very little energy left. There's no way to survive that fight without throwing in the towel. You follow me? So, if you're going to come to me and ask me, Hey, you think you can help me with this situation? Give me something to work with. Don't come to me after everything has been said and done, after you've made all of the mistakes. Come to me at the beginning. When it first starts happening, stop thinking you can handle it by yourself. Look, every single person I have talked to are in situations where they thought they could handle it. They go and they listen to these YouTube videos and they believe that junk that these idiots are putting out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if they're not showing you the law, I want you to follow me. If they are not showing you the law, then stop listening to them. If they are talking about law, how can they talk about the law and not show you the law? Now, if they're showing you some U.S. code, stop listening to those idiots. The United States code is not law. I got to get ready because there is an alarm that's going to go off in the, mon in, the, in the moment. Let me go ahead and shut this alarm off because it's going to be loud. And when this alarm goes off, it's, it, it's, it's got the ability of stopping itself in its tracks. But I'm just going to go ahead and shut it off. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and shut it off. Oh, I don't see it. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to hear the alarm. See? Told you the alarm was going to go off. That's the, give me the beat, boys, to free my soul. I promise you, when I hear that, I have no other choice but to wake up. Because it doesn't fit the rhythm of my sleep. Okay, that's not how I'm sleeping. I'm not dreaming in that rhythm right there. That's my alarms. My alarms is something that's off beat, off rhythm, from my normal mode. That's how I wake up. Other than that, if it's something I'm used to hearing, oh, please, I ain't waking up to that. My mind's going to be like, it's that's normal. But when I hear something that, uh-uh. Now, I, don't get me wrong. I know that song. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. 
Yeah, won't you tell me? Won't you tell me? Oh. Okay, see, I know the song. The only problem is, it's not a song I listen to all the time. It's a song I listened to back in the day when it first came out. So that right there, something, hmm, something ain't right. Something is off. And now I wake up. Other than that, if I am in REM state, remember, wrapped up in a dream. That's how the particular song started. I can't wait to get to REM state when I go to sleep. That's why I go to sleep. It's to get to the REM stage of sleep. Because that's when I get rest, unlike many of you. Ladies and gentlemen, there is this thing with thinking. And I think when I'm asleep. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about that. Give me one second. I'm going to pull up chat GPT. One second. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. When I am sleeping at night, I am constantly thinking about several different things to where my body doesn't get rest. Come up very seldom do I hit the REM stage of sleep. Period. Throughout the day, throughout the day, comma, I am constantly thinking about everything, comma, figuring things out, comma, coming up with plans, comma, trying to get around certain obstacles that are in my way, comma, and it's exhausting, comma, what is this disorder called? Stop listening. Now, I want you guys to understand, there is no such thing as ADHD. It doesn't exist. Go ahead. Go ahead and take a look. There is no such thing as ADHD, the way they describe it. It is not ADHD. My issue has nothing to do with ADHD. My issue has everything to do with, pay attention, the side effects of the damage that was caused during the operation. The symptoms you describe, such as difficulty reaching REM stage of sleep due to constant thinking at night and persistent exhaustive thinking throughout the day could be indicative, indicative, indicative of several potential disorders. One common possibility is generalized anxiety disorder. Well, I'm not anxious over anything, so that doesn't work. Often experience excessive uncontrolled worry about various aspects of their lives. I'm, I didn't say anything about worrying. So give me a second. Another potential condition could be insomnia. Particularly the primary issue is related to the difficulty initiating and maintaining sleep. I, I have chronic insomnia. Doctors have already described that. Hold on. Wake up. <clears throat> Wake up. Did I say anything to you about worrying or anxiety? Did I say anything to you about hyperactivity? I said the problem is thinking, comma, constantly, comma, all throughout the day and all throughout the evening and trying to focus on too many things at one time, <clears throat> coming up with solutions for each of the <clears throat> thoughts that come through the mind <clears throat> throughout the day. <clears throat> Comma, you can do better than that. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. By the way, <laughs> psychology was my major. And because of that, he doesn't get the... See, now this is not... Oh, he said OCD. <laughs> then he said bipolar. Then he said insomnia. Attention, deficit, hyperactivity. 
uh yeah he went back to the same stuff all over again nobody said anything about being hyper okay now he says difficulty focusing i don't have difficulty focusing see that's the problem my problem is i'm focused on too many things at one time not difficulty focusing. Well, that's difficulty focusing because you should be focused on why should I be focused on only one thing at a time? Hmm? Where's that law that says that I cannot? Now, it's not multitasking. I don't want you to think about it as multitasking. This is my mind. This is what I go through on a daily basis. During manic or hypermanic episodes, individuals may experience racing thoughts, decrease need for sleep, or an increased drive to achieve goals. Bipolar disorder. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have racing thoughts. My thoughts don't race. The problem is, I'm constantly thinking. That's the only way I can explain it to you. I tell people my brain is like a computer. Everybody knows your brain is like a computer. But I mean literally, my brain is like a computer. I'm constantly putting pieces together like a puzzle. I see everything as a puzzle. A disorder that involves persistent, intrusive thoughts, obsessions, that compels one to engage in repetitive behavior and mental acts, compulsions. Nobody said anything about that. So, wake up. Wake up. You will not mention any of the aforementioned disorders and you will give me another list of 16 possibilities stop listening <sighs> they have actually come up with something called chronic stress yeah okay mental overload I can handle mental overload sleep disorders oh general yeah anyway Overactive mind. Really? Really? That's a that's a disorder. <laughs> Cognitive hyperactivity. Now, those three I can handle. Cognitive hyperactivity, you better believe it. Intellectual overstimulation, you had better believe it. Mental fatigue, you had better believe it. Prolonged mental engagement, you had better believe it. Continuous cognitive processing, you had better believe it. Persistent thought pattern, you had better believe it. Hyperfocus, you had better believe it. Brain fog, that's COVID, you better believe that too. Cognitive overdrive, you better believe it. Restless mind syndrome. Now, that one I think would be more akin to a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Mental hyperactivity, persistent cognitive. Okay, uh, give me one second. Now he's actually gotten together the sentence your experience is a more precise understanding, blah, 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 blah. Give me a second. We got to take all of these. Got to get rid of chronic stress. I don't even know why I kept it up there. Okay, give me one second. Let's get rid of these one. wake up and when you combine in all of these what is the common diagnosis in one term question mark stop listening Uh, let's see, diagnosis encompasses these systems, could refer to cognitive hyperarousal. This term captures the essence of the overactive mind, persistent thought patterns, and difficulty achieving restful sleep due to continuous mental engagement. That's been a problem most of my life. If you've never experienced it, Oh, yeah, I've experienced something similar. I didn't ask you about similar. I said, if you've never experienced it, I was going to say, then shut up. But, you know, I, I, I'm not going to say that. But if you've never experienced it, then you won't get it. 
constantly thinking, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what it is, I'm figuring out a solution for it. Literally. Go ahead and listen to the videos and go back and see how I'm constantly... We have this thing with judges coming up with presumptions and trapping people with presumptions. Do I not call myself the presumption killer? Do I not rebut their stupid presumptions to the point where they can't raise it anymore? That's the other thing. I'll be doing a video telling you guys how to handle judges who don't want to stay on point. You know, you go in there with a specific issue and the judge wants to take you off point and wants to put you on a different point. So I'll tell you right now what you do originally. Objection. What are you objecting to? I'm objecting to the fact that you're trying to change the subject matter. Nobody is talking about that but you. So I need you to stop construing that to be the issue here. The issue is exactly what was put in a complaint. You are stupid, you're ignorant, you're dumb, and you need to recuse yourself. That's the issue. That's the subject matter, Your Honor. I don't know why you're talking about all that other stuff. Who cares about what happened in 1945? That ain't got nothing to do with your stupidity, your ignorance, your moronacy. You are a fool, idiot. You see, that's the subject matter of that conversation. Bring them back to one. Go talk to Brian McKnight. Okay? Bring them back to one. It's for the things you do, two. It's like a dream come true, and three. You know it's plain to see that you're the only one for me, and four. Okay, repeat steps one, two, three, and five. Okay. Bring them back to one. Stop letting them change the subject, people. That's why you're losing in court. You're letting them change the subject, either on paper or in words. Stop having conversations with these idiots. If they ask you a question, did you pay this amount? Excuse me. Is there any evidence on the record that I didn't pay the amount? Yes, they provided, excuse me, no, they provided copies. Where's the actual accounting? Where's the proof of funding? See, it's not a matter of did one pay the amount, it's a matter of where's the proof that they've ever loaned the amount? Yes, there is a contractual agreement, but my claim is that I never received the funding. So where is the proof of funding? And yes, the Fair Debt Collections Practice Act applies to this matter. So where's the proof of funding? Then, then shut up with all of that that I pay. Ask them did they pay. Because in order for them to receive payment, they would have to give payment. They didn't pay me nothing. Go ahead, look at the accounting. The accounting shows nothing about the funds they gave me. Go ahead. If it's a true accounting, and I've asked for a true accounting, a true bill, They've not provided me a true bill. So I, I know I know you want to change the subject so that the proof and burden is on me. But I don't want you putting the burden on me. We're going to put the burden back on the individual who made the claim. They need to prove that there is an outstanding debt. So where is the proof of funding? What account did they put it in? They didn't hand it to me in cash because if they did, they need a witness. And I don't ever recall, and I don't have no mental disability. I am not as incompetent as you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. I wasn't supposed to announce on the record, Your Honor, that the law holds you to be incompetent, that you can't rely on your own rationale and your own thinking, that you have to do what the agency tells you to do, and you have to think the way the agency tells you to think. So you are the one with a mental disability here. Oh, yeah, you guys didn't know that you can use that against them when they want to challenge your mental disability? Judges cannot challenge your mental disability because they themselves are mentally disabled when sitting on a bench. Shh! Nobody's ever said that before. Go ahead. Go back and listen to all the videos. Ain't nobody ever said nothing like that before. I couldn't tell it to you unless it was this moment right now. See, I can only bring out information like that when I'm talking about a particular subject or unless somebody asks me a specific question. But judges sit in a mental disability. Judges are incompetent. Watch this. Wake up. We're going to switch to a different subject. Comma, did you know that judges are incompetent?
stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, he's see the little <laughs> time he's taking. Hoo he's having a difficult time. So give me a second while I I'm gonna let him uh, look. The general, uh, the competency of a judge is a topic of considerable <laughs> debate. It varies widely depending on individual perspective and jurisdiction. Judges are typically required to have an extensive legal, and nobody asked anything. However, <laughs> as with many professions, there can be instances where individuals and decisions are criticized. <laughs> and so watch this. Give me one second. Okay, I have a meeting in a moment, but I got the laws that I needed to put in here. Well, not the laws, the case citations. And let's see. The citations you provided articulate the principle that judicial and administrative roles are distinct and that judges acting in an administrative capacity do not possess the same authority they would in a strictly judicial role. Here's a brief summary of each case in submission. Now watch this. Wake up. The issue is, comma, judicial officers are incompetent from receiving grants of judicial authority. Exclamation mark. A municipal court judicial officer is not acting in the capacity of a judge, comma, it is quasi-judicial, which means the judicial officer is incompetent, exclamation mark. When a judicial officer is representing a corporation, i.e., colon, the employer identification number representing a private corporation, comma, it is not acting in a judicial capacity, but in a ministerial one, and thus no judicial power. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. So if a judge is incompetent, I'm not bringing an argument, you, ish, you idiot. The courts bring the argument. Judicial officers acting in a ministerial capacity do not have the authority to exercise judicial power. Ministerial acts are administrative in nature and do not involve discretion or judgment typically of judicial functions. That includes, pay attention, bankruptcy court. Pay attention, legislative courts. Pay attention, administrative courts. These judges do not operate in a judicial capacity. That's why there's a difference between the United States Supreme Court and the Supreme Court of the United States. So when a judge wants to hold a competency hearing, you now need to challenge the judicial officer's competency. Hey! You need to pay attention. All right, got to go, ladies and gentlemen. I have a meeting in two minutes, and so, and it's not being back real soon or anything like that y'all take care okay information is vitally important